Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz, thank you for stopping by. This is a deck that I got uh, last week, I think, um, with the other deck that I did the unboxing. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, uh, I think it was this, the Rumi, not the Rumi Tarot. Oh my God. Um, oh, I can't remember. Anyway, it had something to do with that. Anyway, uh, the Secrets of Paradise Tarot um, by Leticia Ferrer Rivera. And the artwork is by Laura Bello. Bello? I was going to say Bella, but it's Bello. And it's inspired by Caribbean and Latin American culture and mysticism. It's 81 cards and deck. It looked like such a really beautiful deck. Um, and I got, I was, they were half price. So the first of its kind tarot deck is a, this first of its kind tarot deck is a celebration of Caribbean and Latin America, bringing the history, food, dance, music, and magic of these rich and diverse cultures to life. Bomba rhythms excite the street and reggaeton beats play at the club and surfers share the waves with pirate ships and mermaids. Inspired by the familiar right away Smith art style, the vibrant imagery of this deck reimagines the traditional archetypes through a fresh lens and blends the ancient and mystical with the modern and everyday to create a powerful tool for divination and intuition. Now this has 81 cards, so it will be interesting to see exactly what they are and how they relate. I like decks with a couple extra cards. I think they're, I always find them kind of cool. Anyway, so this is a nice, strong uh, box. Definitely re um, a lot thicker. You can tell it's thicker. So what's it say here? May the oceans bring the blessings, abundance, and healing to all who inhabit the planet Earth. How beautiful. See the roses in there? Very nice. <clears throat> Very nice. Um, so that's Leticia Ferrer, Ferrer Rivera. And Laura Bello. <clears throat> and this is a nice little book. I do like the little books. I mean, I like the big books too. I mean, I like decent books. Books that you get, you know, a decent um, explanation from. Some of them are so thin you can barely get anything. So it explains. It says here, an invitation to discover the secrets of Paradise Tarot. And did I even say that name before? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. I just did a video, the video on the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I'm still confused over that one. I love this salsa tarot spread. That is so cool. I love it. I love dancing. I love uh, Latin music. Oh, I love it. So it looks like the the um, uh, names of the cards have changed. They're changing them a little bit. So. And then it looks like they kept the, um, the uh, suits the same, though. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It just looked like a pretty a pretty deck. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? I like when they put little... Oops, I just whacked the camera. I like the, when they put a little surprise in the box like that. It's really nice. All right. Now, I can tell you right now, the one thing I'm not loving about these cards is they all have... An, uh, a border eh. S some borders I don't mind generally I don't care for them but okay so that's the back look how beautiful and definitely reversible definitely so okay I'm gonna try to do this one a lot quicker than the one I just did but that one I wound up with like all kinds of confusion parts of missing in the book it was just one of those okay El Bobo, so that would be the Fool. La Bruja, so that's typically the magician, but they turned it into a witch because a Bruja is a witch, which is kind of cool. Oh, and they kept some the same. Okay. <laughs> All righty. I do like I I I do like the picture though. That is really that's really cool. And look, if you see right there. There's actually the card that's out because it's a tarot card. It's this card. It's the next one. That's neat. The high priestess, the goddess, which typically would be the um, empress. Wow, I love that. <gasps> I love it. Um, the god, be the emperor. The high priest. Oh, wait a minute. Would be the is the god the emperor? Well, yeah, the empress, and then the emperor. The high pre oh yeah hierophant hello hello 
What is on there? I can't. Is that a, oh, it's a wheel of the year. I love this. The lovers, they're dancing. I love the rainbows. Beautiful. The chariot. I, I like these. These are cool. Strength. Wisdom. So that would be what the hermit, I think. Nine, I believe it's a hermit. And this is the wheel of the year, which is the wheel of fortune. I love it. I love that they did it as the wheel of the year. I like that. Just, justicia or justice. Karma. I like this. These are well done. I do like the artwork and I do like the um, the imagery and how it's it's really in interesting. So discipline, number 12. Is it number 12, um, the hanged man, typically? Yeah, I guess. Death. Oh, look at that. They're taking it to the conquistador. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, temperance. I love it. She's sticking her foot in the uh, fountain there. Uh, this would typically be the devil. It's temptations. I love it. It's just cool. The tower. That's an interesting. Um, this looks like very Aztec, I'm guessing. And you know what? The tower is not falling down. It just looks like a hurricane. Because this is would be a hurricane. That's what it looks like. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. The star. Yamaya. Which is the goddess of water. I believe. <clears throat> La Luna. The moon. And it's a mermaid. Love it. Uh, gu guye, guye, uh, which would be the sun. I'm probably saying that wrong, so forgive me. Um, okay, so the... Oh, wait a minute. No, these aren't. Okay, that is the sun. All right, so there's extra cards here. There's no number. Because uh, I know there's supposed to be extra cards. I'm just looking to see... Hold on. Am I missing one? Okay, so uh, 78, 79, 80, 80. But there's supposed to be three. All right, maybe I'll see it. Okay, so coexist. I love, I love that. that. We need this. This is what we need in the world. Healing. And we need a lot of this too. Healing. And then we go to judgment. Which has an interesting judgment card. Hmm. And Madre... Tierna, Tierra, so Mother Earth. Uh, oh, so this must be the extra card, 22, the universe. So this would be like the world, because clearly that's the world, but it's Mother Earth. I like this, and the universe. So this is the extra card as well. I love it. Love it. Okay. So we got it. We got it. Pentacles, one. Okay, they got it backwards, but okay, whatever. The order of the suits that I'm used to. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. That's different. I love it. Three of Pentacles. I really like, I, I really like this deck. I know the imagery is very different from the right await Smith. Oh, here we go. He has to make his cameo. My dog yells at me a lot. I wish I still had that video of him <laughs> arguing with me. I have it on Facebook, but I don't have it. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I think it's uploaded to one of my um, one of my clouds, but it's him here. I should, if I can find it, I'm going to post that video because that's how he is all the time. Anyway, four of Pentacles. Oh, five of Pentacles. Oh, that's kind of sad. Hmm, interesting. He almost looks like he's going to sneak up on her. And like, that, that's kind of weird. That gives me a little bit of creepy vibe there. Six of Pentacles. Oh, I love that. Seven of Pentacles. Actually, let me just check that one out real quick. Yeah, I do like that a lot. Um, The Eight of Pentacles. This is one I've seen that's very similar to the typical Eight of Pentacles. Not, oh, I love it. Nine of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles. Nice. Okay. So Ace of Wands. Oh, I love it. 
I love it. It's a broomstick <laughs> with a witch's hat. So cool. Two of wands. Three of wands. Which I'm surprised. You would have thought that they would have used that, this as cups maybe because of the water. But okay. Four of wands. Oh, I like that a lot. That's really cool. Five of wands. Six of wands. Seven of wands. Hmm, very interesting. Eight of wands. What is that? Oh, okay. I, it almost looked like an eyeball to me for a second. Nine of wands. And the ten of wands. Now, ten of wands is usually more... Um, for me, it's like a heavy burden you're carrying. Honestly, it says organic, organico here. Uh, and he's, this is looks like sugar cane. I, I don't know. I, to me, it doesn't give me that same vibe. It's more about uh, being healthy in a way, I think. All right. So, Ace of Cups. Oh, look, there's Mother Mary there. See her? Two of Cups. Ooh, love it. I love it. Three of Cups, dancing. This reminds me of, I went on a cruise, you know, a long while back. And it reminds me of the um, disco there that they had. Four of Cups. He's so funny. Look at him. He's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Five of Cups. Which typically Five of Cups... Hmm. Usually Five of Cups is usually sad. She doesn't look sad at all. That's interesting. Six of Cups. That's strange. Uh, hmm. She looks like she's in a cell or something strange. Seven of Cups. <clears throat> Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Look at all the different coffee cups. Yay. <laughs> I love coffee. Ten of Cups. I like that. Nice family get together. I love that. Now that the weather's getting nice, I'm going to have to do more of that. Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Huh. That is not even closely related to the Three of Swords that I typically know. Four of Swords. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, and Ten of Swords. Somebody's been murdered. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Princess of Pentacles. Wait a minute. Did we? Cups, swords. Did I do all of them? Wands. Did we already do wands? We must have. Okay, so what happened is I wasn't paying attention. They left all the um all the um not the suits, oh my god, the court cards for the end. I wish they'd stop doing this with these decks. Honestly, I wish they'd just keep it in order. It would just be so much simpler. Weird that I didn't even notice that, but okay, whatever. Anyway, so Princess of Pentacles, which typically would be the page. Okay. Dame of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Oh, okay, so that's kind of weird. We got Princess of Pentacles, Dame of Pentacles. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Now, typically, that would be um, the Knight. I don't, I don't know. Okay, uh, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What's going on here? Hold on a second. No, we've got a Knight, but then we got a Dean. I'm, I'm really I'm confused. Hold okay. There's a deem. Okay, we got a knight of a knight of wands, 
Then we have a Knight of Cups. And then we have a Dame of Pentacles and a Dame of Swords. Hmm. I'm really, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Okay. If you're going to change it, why not change them all? Make it all the same. I'm just, I'm, I don't know. Weird. Okay. Knight of Wands. Oh, I like her. Queen of Wands. Just really pretty. I didn't even get a chance. I didn't really look at the Queen of Pentacles. I'm kind of thrown off. Oh my God. It seems to, I love her. Oh yeah. Yeah. Love her. Okay. It seems to be the, the, the thing today with these decks. I don't know. It's like they're trying new things. King of Wands. Maybe I'm just getting old. Okay. So Princess of Wands. Uh, cups. Not Wands. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. <laughs> I love that she's a mermaid and wearing a bra. Funny. <laughs> Cracks me up. Uh, King of Cups. Princess of Swords. Dame of Swords. I'm confused. Queen of Swords. I love it. I love that she's got gray hair. She's got her glasses. She doesn't give me the typical Queen of Swords vibe, though. She definitely gives me much more a Queen of Pentacles vibe. And the King of Swords. He definitely gives me more of a King of um, Wands or even a, a King of Cups vibe, not Swords. He looks like a big goofball. Kings of Swords are not goofballs. They're very serious people. Try to get a laugh out of one of those guys. All right, let's see. I want to get one of these different cards. Where are they? Just so we can, we're going to do the coexist. And I do definitely want, um, let's see. Do we have death or is it justice? justice? Okay, that's number 13. Is Okay, we do have death. Um, let's do El Bobo. I've hardly ever do the fool, but let's do El Bobo. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. It tells you about opening and closing the deck. I don't do a lot of that stuff, honestly. I just can't be bothered. Okay. All right. El Bobo. El Bobo is inspired by a folkloric character called Juan Bobo or Juan the Fool. People underestimated his intelligence and his personality. He can be a trickster and sometimes a fool, causing disaster as he tries doing things his own way. However, he is not as foolish as he seems and teaches us valuable life lessons. Meaning of the card, El Bobo is a journey of life. He is initiating a pass. Oh, okay. what am I? El Bobo is, should be is on a journey, but uh, he is initiating a path. But during that meaningful life journey, he can cause distractions and can take you to a completely different outcome. It is also about taking risks and either jumping off the cliff or choosing not, not to. Oh, you know, I just noticed there's a donkey there, not a dog. <laughs> That's funny. Are you jumping on purpose with a plan for how to fall or are you accidentally jumping and just falling at a high speed? El Bobo is about to go on an adventure. The sun is blessing him and the donkey is a symbol of suffering. The fact that he is carrying a load means that he is not alone in this journey. Spirit and other beings like guardian angels help us carry the weight of our responsibilities in life. Donkeys are also animals of peace. So if you are... Getting this card during any type of relationship reading, it can mean that the two parties are at peace with each other or there is a peaceful environment at the moment. El Bobo is also El Bobo, oh, okay. El Bobo is also a representation of a Jibaro or Hibaro who is trying to get to the town to sell his plant plantains and make some money in order to buy a new dress for his wife, as in the song Lamento. Borincano by Rafael Hernandez. He is taking a break and a breath looking down the cliff to see his destiny. This card can be used to request protection during a trip to San Rafael, Archangel, Archangel Rafael. It, trip to? Southern? Okay, I don't know. Is there a place called Archangel Rafael or, or request of protection during a trip from? 
I'm sorry. Okay. It can also be a message to look at your logistics or evaluate where you are standing right now. Have a great journey. I like that. I like to write. Other than there's a couple of areas where I thought um, wording was a little odd. I, I do like it. It's nice. No. Nope. Okay. We're going to do the coexist. All right. I do love the donkey on there. I love donkeys. Do you guys ever see a baby donkey? Oh, my God. Probably the cutest animal I've ever seen as a baby. Oh, just adorable. All right. Coexist. Let's see. Where are those? If it's. Okay, so it is in between. Okay, it's weird that it's in between. Hmm. All right, coexist. This is a card with special message added to the Major Arcana, but it is no number. Be but it has no number because it is not traditionally part of a tarot deck. This card can be removed and pulled as a positive message for the end of the reading, or it can be part of the main reading. It depicts people who represent different religions and spiritual paths, all in harmony and coexisting together. From left to right, Santara, or woman who practices Kandoble, uh, Buddhist monk, Wicca high priestess, Catholic priest, and Indian bride representing the Hindu religion. Beautiful. I, I do like this card. It is really beautiful. This card is about learning to respect the beliefs of others. Uh, it is about understanding others, becoming more spiritually and culturally competent instead of assuming or judging when you do not know anything about a tradition or ritual. If this card shows up, it means you are attuned to the people around you. If for some reason this appears on the reverse position, this person's needs, this person needs to do some shadow work. They must get to the root of why it is difficult for them to connect with others who differ from them in culture or belief. Depending on the position in the spread, it can be sending a message from one of the spiritual symbols. Use a pendulum and see which symbol is chooses to, to learn. I don't understand this part here. Use a pendulum to see which symbol is it chooses to learn more. I, I, so I'm wondering if it means like the different religions there. Kind of makes sense. It can be used as a significator for someone following any of these paths. Shuffle. if Shuffle it along with the other cards or feel free to remove it from the deck and not use it for certain readings. Okay. I, I would just use it because, you know, why not? <laughs> All right. Let's go with the Dame because I'm a little confused on those two cards. Let's see. A sword. Did they? Hold on a second. All right. So the. It looks like the, it's called La Familia, which is the court cards are all in the back. Okay. I'll say Deem of Swords. All right. <sighs> this is weird. Okay. The dancer depicts a fusion style between Latin dances and Mediterranean. The mix of cultures leads to fusions in the ref in the performing arts, this custom can be used for dancing the Andal Andalusi style of belly dancing, which includes flamenco and servilana steps, or a rumba flamenca, which is a flamenco style that includes Cuban rumba. This is not a traditional costume, but a symbol of the cross between cultures. All right. Um, great. Okay. Meaning of the card. Great strategy and technique are... Are key to this card. You are in a mission. Move quickly, but gracefully towards your goals. So that would be the um, the Knight of Swords. Typically, indulge your ambition. This card is your sign to acknowledge what you want and do and go for it. Don't wait around for something to happen. Actively pursue your goals and make it happen, even if sometimes it takes some improvements and not planning ahead of time. You are unbiased, flexible, and use your own intellect. You like. Getting directly to the point, the fan is either open or closed, never halfway. The eyes on the door are spirit guides watching over you. As a reminder to look inward as you feel your ambition getting the best of you, this card can bring you a message urging you to slow down. Burnout and exhaustion are signs that it's time to only focus on fewer things. You cannot do it all. All right, so honestly, it definitely had the the... Uh, explanation is definitely more Knight of Wands based. It is definitely 
throwing me off because it just looks like a celebration. The Knight of Wands is a fast moving car. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords is a fast moving car. It's actually sometimes can be recklessness, and I don't see anything reckless here at all. Nothing. So I, I'm not a I'm not a fan of that. I do like the artwork, but I just not a fan of the of that at all. Um, let's go to Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Oh, hold on. I passed it already. Three of Swords. I'm sorry. Is it Three of Swords? I'm, I'm looking for cups, but I want swords. Go figure. Okay, yeah, they're here. Three of Swords. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a coconut. Like a painted coconut. Uh, Raul Ayala is one of the several artisans who create Vigiganti masks from Lo Loiza. And this card illustrates one made of coconut. Okay, so it is coconut. Meaning of the card. The Three of Swords shows up at a time of extreme hardship and emotional pain. The mask represents a deceptive false face you are hiding behind. You are not being truthful to the world or even yourself. It is a stormy day in your heart. Even though you might feel the need to hide from judgments, feelings, or even the reality of your current situation, you must face these fears unmasked and if you and as your true self. For the challenges that accompany the pain and suffering can lead to growth. This card may be a sign that you feel betrayed. This is the time to discover the real colors of that person who lied to you. The truth will be revealed if it has not been yet. Okay, so that's very different from the typical Three of Swords, which generally is in a pinch. It's mainly heartbreak. This talks about deception and stuff, which is mainly more at Seven of Swords to me. So it's de definitely a different interpretation, um, not the typical. So don't know about that one either. Okay, it is what it is. All right, um, Five of Cups, which usually Five of Cups is about uh, rejection, um, disappointment, um, uh, sorrow. I mean, anything like that. And this does not give me that vibe at all. Okay, Cups. Five of Cups. At all. Not at all. I do like the card, though. The card's cool. I like how it does tell you what's on the card, so you have an idea. This card showcases the traditions of drumming in Uruguay and Puerto Rico. On one side of the street, there are bomba drums with the star from the Puerto Rican flag. And on the other side, there are con con Dombe drums with the sun from the Uruguayan flag. Uruguay and Puerto Rico share very similar folkloric dress. Meaning of the card. There are times when you may feel stuck in the past, but this is your sign to let, let it all go. Look into self-care and freedom techniques that will assist you in gracefully overcoming the sting left behind by old wounds. While it may not have worked out in your favor this card is signifying that it is time to do some emotional caretaking or cleansing you have the power to pull yourself out of pessimism or disappointment this card can also represent a moment where you are hiding your real feelings behind a smile on your face a mal tiempo buena cara hope and pot which is a bad bad time good face H hope and possibilities are still yours for the taking you just need to look for them okay i do like the write-up the write-up is good the card does not give me that vibe at all not at all honestly i would consider this more um if you have two other people it would be more like a three of cups because she looks so happy i mean it talks about having a good face but you don't see sorrow at all in this card at none none and that's i i don't yeah it is what it is but i don't see it okay I'm just going to give my my open and honest opinion about it. I really think that that definitely missed a mark. I like the artwork, but it doesn't it doesn't speak to the actual meaning at all. Even the the, the written meaning. We're going to do judgment and and then did I say I was going to do another one as I still asked you? Okay. I think we're just going to do judgment. Um let's see what do I got. I'm 29 minutes in. Okay. This card illustrates the Tayano Simi deity. Makwit, oh my god, Makwitari Guyaba, who is the guide for souls arriving to the underworld. If at, 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 
Cueva Venta, which is part of the Ruta Tayana in Puerto Rico. There are 10 sweet guava fruits on the card and 10 dark bats, both of which symbolize qualities, qualities of this deity and add up to up to 20, the number of this card. Well, that's kind of different. Okay. See the, see the fruits there and the bats? I hadn't even seen that. So it's a card to the underworld, which is judgment. That's cool. That I like. Meaning of the card. This card is about reflecting on your past and meditating on your future. Ask yourself, what are the energies around you? How can you prepare for this important moment in your life? What is the status of your soul right now? This card can mean that the person needs shadow work to answer those questions or to connect with a certain deity like Makwetari Goyaba, Santa Muerte, Hecate, or an ancestor spirit beyond the veil. This can also be a sign that you're, you must try to go with the flow and be flexible at this point in your life or in a situation without trying to fight it. There is always light at the end of the tunnel. We can be reborn if we follow the surrender to the plan. The, uh, if we, oh my God. <laughs> we can be reborn if we follow and surrender to the plan the universe has for us. We must be humble as we experience the power of the divine. Okay. And you know what? Well, in here, I'll do this one only because I'm so thrown off by these dame cards. Uh, go in the back. That's, those are in the back. And I am just very thrown off by those. Okay, and then I'll be done. All right. Here is an old... Here in old San, San Juan, Puerto Rico, a flamenco bailaora dancer works on her routine and technique playing the castanuelas as another joins in playing a Cajun puruano. Okay, so they're both dancers on both cards. Okay. Meaning of the card. As with an experienced dancer who is still working to improve her technique, this card represents someone who has not yet reached their highest skill level, but who has valuable experience under their belt. With effort and practice, you can reach your dreams, and there is nothing as valuable as the hard-earned pride and satisfaction that comes from accomplishing your goals. Pay, pay attention and don't be complacent. Do not take things for granted and keep pushing yourself. Do not underestimate your power to succeed and be your best. Okay, so that definitely speaks to the night. Of pentacles but i don't see it in this card i just see someone dancing it's not um honestly because there's these two pentacles here it gives me more of a vibe vibe of the two pentacles you know balancing when you're dancing you have to balance well too all right it is what it is it's a cool deck i do like it I'll, i'm probably will use it but i really think that there is some confusion in in um the artwork that kind of is throwing me off. <clears throat> and, you know, I have a gazillion decks, so not that I'm an expert. It's just, you know, with tarot, they do follow, generally follow a, um, a system. And sometimes people throw them off and I don't, I don't really understand why, you know, but what is what it is. I'm not the creator. They must have their ideas. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Blessings and thank you.